YouTubers, I wanted to show you um, how to run multiple machines in Silhouette Business Edition. I have um, the Business Edition, which one of the things it lets you do is run multiple machines at the same time. So this is something I just made. We're gonna do a video on this um, sometime. But this is my Curio mat. So I have this open in one window. And then up here in another window, this is my Cameo mat, and this is one of my mandalas. And so if I want to run both of these at the same time, I go over here to send. Now I have to go through all of my material choices and what I wanted it to do. And then over here at send, it'll tell you what all I have. So my machines are all hooked up via uh, USB port and they're all turned on. So this is my right gold cameo. I've named them to make it a little bit easier. You can right click and rename. So this is the cameo that sits on the right of the computer and it's covered in gold rhinestones. Then I have my curio, which is syncing because there's no bases in it. And see the green check mark means that it is the default cutter. And this is my left pink cameo. So it's covered in pink rhinestones and normally sits to my left. The reason that they're all named is if I go over here or if I just hit the send button, it's automatically gonna send this design to my curio. It's automatically just gonna send it to whatever is my default cutter. So it's gonna send it to this curio. So if I wanna send this guy to the cameo, I have to hit this start button and that's why they're named to help keep it a little bit more organized for me. But that's all there is to it. You just gotta make sure that the window you're working in and, and you hit the start button for the curio or cameo that you want it to go to. Other than that, and then this guy's not on, that's why he's saying he's not connected. Um, and make sure, I have a USB port hub that splits them so that I can put plug in more USB ports. Other than that, it's really that easy. Um, we'll be back with some more tutorials later.